Hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new series over on an Argentinian server called Ferox PvP, in which the server opened up to cap maps on Wipe Day, and me as a solo decided to take on this server and see how far I could do it, and bring some guests in in the process. And it turns out, fighting the whole server as a solo brings in a lot of fun and a lot of loot. But before we get into this video, if you play on ASA or ASE on various platforms, well, look no further than Nomad Arc, a brand new no wipe server which just dropped. And there are 10x rates, six man tribes with loads of modded caves, ORP on weekdays to help you guys out that always go to work and get wiped by all the no lives on this game. They also have turret fill, solo farm, and weekly and daily quests. If you're interested, check out the Discord link below, and thank you, Nomad, for the sponsor today. Well, welcome back everyone, and for a different change of pace, this server has no mods. It's completely vanilla, so the experience is going to be an interesting one. But everywhere, every time you play Ark, you start on the beach on West Zone as you run for your note run. So I began by spawning in, picking up some stones and berries and just various other things to get that little bit of bump of XP, and then I'll do some mini level ups and head straight over for the 4x note. Person already flying around to round on. That's a good sign. Really good sign. I need to get my note run done ASAP though. Can't be hanging around for too long, especially when I'm on. Well, there's, it says 95 ping, but did that really look like 95 ping? No. It. I'm I'm teleporting everywhere. This is that. Uh, this ain't good. This ain't good. Yeah, so the ping wasn't exactly in my favor this time around, but that's typical ARC. You don't really find servers that have good ping, especially the ones with good pop. But anyways, this server had boosted stats, and as a solo, I would need much more weight and movement speed and stamina and health so I could escape the bigger tribes and just survive PvP fights more. And as soon as I jumped off into the water, this playthrough would truly begin. I'd start by grabbing my notes, dying to a Therizino which would completely reset my run, but wasn't exactly an issue, as I was just going to go grab a 4x note from another part of the map and just level up using cooking pots. I opened up this drop, got some med brews and some kibbles, and then would use the starter kits the server provides. Now, to be honest with you, these kits are a bit too much, but it's not an issue anyway, as I've farmed flak a million times over. I'll start by hitting some trees, picking some bushes, and then hitting some rocks as well so I could make myself some bowlers parachutes and anything i would need for early game as well as that i wanted to get myself a torch as well as i didn't exactly have a weapon i think i grabbed enough explorer notes got enough time i'm gonna go head over to the other forex down further west zone and i'm gonna get myself to 100 as quickly as i can make sure there's no players on the way there's bases absolutely everywhere and may wings as well so i don't think i have any, do I have any? no i don't have any tranks i'll grab myself some tranks and i'll come back and grab some I knocked out around on or dead dead that player on a shark bro they're moving way too fast no nope, but that's a raided base with turrets on it i swear there was a shark moving 2000 miles per hour over here am i wrong no they're just may wing swimming okay with all the resources I had for cooking pots, I would also start grabbing tech parasaurs and any tech dinos around to grab electronics and oil, as they would be key in grabbing myself heavies, an industrial forge, and various other high tier items. But for now, I grabbed the forex note, crafted my cooking pots, and looked at getting to level 100 fast. And I mean, just look at the amount of XP. But not before long, I saw a player flying past, and with my first bit of PvP on edge, I decided to How's follow it him. Wing, no? Is he going green knob? I'm just gonna head there just on the off chance he's there. Still crafting. Oh, yeah, wait. There he is. See him. Follow him.
victim. Oh, pump. Oh. Oh. Died instantly. Oh. Um. Huh? <laughs> um. Guy deserves a bit of a payback for trying to raid a bob. Damn. I got you, bro. I got you. I, got I saved you! I saved you! Why are you hitting me? I saved you! Here, here. I'll keep this. You have that. Good luck. My god, bro. Saved his base. And then he just starts killing me. God damn. Do you have any cryo tames? He had an egg. Maywing egg. Okay. Oh, he did have him. I just saw a stego blueprint. I saw a stego blueprint. Level. Bro, let me on, please. Why are you? Oh, I'm too fat. Bro, it's all going wrong. Right, let me get out of here. Damn. There's another May Wing there. Is there a player on that one? I think there is. I need to find somewhere to upload this stuff. This base is absolutely everywhere on this server. Oh my god. This might be the most pop server I've seen in a while. Alright. Quickly, before this lands. Your points in Stam. I mean, I'm not too fussed about melee at all. I'm not going to be using it for that. I need to upload this refining forge. I need to upload so much. And just like that, we had secured our first big kill on the server and had acquired a lot of loot as well. I decided to play the safe route and upload the Indie Forge and all the high tier items to make sure I couldn't lose them since I was basically roaming around with my whole base on me. I can't believe I got that Stego blueprint this early on in the video. So crazy. All right, most of the loot's uploaded now. Chainsaw's done. I think everything important's done. I'll upload the walls as well. I don't really need to build anything. And the hatchet and pickaxe. Sweet. I've only got eight shells left. I need to be careful. Now, the biggest grab of all the loot was probably the mining drill and the stego blueprint and the shotgun. As with the shotgun, I could do boss fight. With the stego, I could raid. And the mining drill, I could farm easy as a solo. Nice, level 100. That means heavy turrets unlocked. Okay, let's sort out my inventory. What do I actually need? Pickaxe, bowler. Yes, yes. Good gear. Yes, yes, yes. Cryopods. Yes. Pools, sure. Thatch, I need. Toxin, I need. Oh, damn. There's actually a lot of stuff here. Okay. A 298 pistol? Where did that even come from, bro? Just a random pteranodon. Wonder if it's worth the kill. Do it anyway. Oh, someone's got tech already. I don't even know how long the server's been open for. Literally only just found it on the server list, and like every server's capped. So. Thing. Oh, what's that gear? And some grapples. Don't mind if I do. Little stone box here. Someone's made a castle. Got anything for me? Nah, nothing. I'm not even going to check the mortar pestles. Then you on. Oh, actually. Don't have to. Blue drop, ring around it. You know what? It's kind of nice. I lie. Now I can switch that out. You remove the ammo, but I can keep the good pump in my upload. Got 23 hours on it all as well. Probably keep some of the kibble up there too. The guy seems to have left these bobs alone, which is nice. I'm surprised he didn't come back. But the fact he's bred these Maywings might mean he has a base around there somewhere. So let's keep on the lookout. What? Pretty big base already. Loads of stuff wiped over here as well, like Thames. The turrets. Oh, I don't think there is. Base over there, though. 
With tech. So. Need to be careful. With total carnage going on throughout the entire server, my best bet was to go check the caves around the map and see if any of them weren't taken. And cave by cave, I slowly ticked them off and most of them were claimed. And as a solo, I would need somewhere like this to be able to defend easily against a bigger tribe. I'd travel back down south and to the west zone of the map and check pole caves, but most of those were claimed as well and built in and nothing really fit my fancy. I would head up towards the ice though, as I wanted to check iceberg and also grab some polymer, which we would need for turrets as well. Golems, griffins, not even many turrets. Stegos as well. Base up top. That is depowered. Oh, right, just industrial forges, I think. Base. Yeah, the base is raided. Must have got wiped. They still have golems and stuff below, though. Yeah, nothing's left. Okay. That must mean a bigger base is nearby. Another big raided base already, and is early on in wipe still, so these guys are getting shredded by some massive tribe that I haven't even found yet. But with a few penguins left over on the iceberg and not many others spawning, I'd make sure to farm what I could as I would need much poly for the base. I'd grab every little last bit and I accidentally used a hatchet instead of a, uh, a club for a little bit. I didn't switch into my pickaxe anyway and we got a couple hundred poly out of it, which we could also craft up some ghillie gear with the blueprints we had gotten as well, which was kind of nice. Oh my god. A purple UT. Hey, can you calm down for a sec? Chill. What level? Level 15? Oh, hell no. Oh, it's so sexy, though. Damn. A few more drops later and uploading a few more items and I'd head down to the lava cave on the west side of the map as well, just to see if anyone had built in that. And to my surprise, there was something special waiting for me on the inside. Anyone live here? Wow. Does not look like it. Oh. Yep, they definitely do. Okay. Turns out there's reworked caves. I did not know that. Guy there in a May Wing. What? His AFK is fine. Oh. Never mind, he's not. All right, we'll just cook him. Oh. Yeah, you know maybe he'll get me. Oh. He can't he can't use the pike whilst he's laying down. I don't think he knows that. Oh, uh, guy he does know that. <laughs> He does, he does know. <laughs> hey, come back. What are you doing? Oh. He's hiding. He's hiding. No. Oh my God. The lag's so bad. actually had a decent amount of stuff nice damn there's 140 blue and purple around on that's so nice and the stats aren't even half bad as well i wish he hadn't got those tamed oh i so got them that's a lot of plant species they're not base oh yeah there is oh Can you stop hovering please over here. Got plant species. I think I saw some turrets. 
Actually, they might not have any. Oh, I don't see any. Sorry. A lot of plants. Been raided. Yeah, looks raided. Looks damaged. Alright, before I build a base, I've got a few things I want to, well, just get. So, I want to get myself two carbos, so a male and a female. I also want to get myself two stegos. They could be tech or normal, just male and female, so I can breed them. And I also want to grab myself a bunch more poly and electronics, which will probably need me to go to gen. As before I set up a base... Everything around here, granted that one's built bad, has just been raided, no matter how many heavies they've got. So if I'm going to survive as a solo, already at a disadvantage, I need my footing about... I'm going to check Redwood as the last spot, and then if not, we're going to transfer our server, because there's a bunch more maps that are also caps that I can go look on. Hold on. I haven't seen me. Maybe I can bait it. Pick me up. Um, 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 I'm just gonna back up and reversing. Let's see if we can. There we go. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, I forget the server's super laggy. Oh, am I ever going to be able to hit a bow on this? Probably not. How did that not hit? What? You know, I'll help you do that, bud. I'll help you. I'll help. Oh. Where'd he go? Huh? Oh, he's running. Edbrews. Definitely take the resources. Uh, kibble, bowlers, we waste those, tranks, narcotics, balls. Cool. We'll take a bit of everything. Nice. And we also get the drop too. Had to spend some ammo though on that one. I wasn't going to try and fight through the shield. This try and don't have anything? Just meat. Okay. Oh! What is that, bro? Getting some insane pull. Oh, I didn't know we had an ascendant long neck though. Damn. Hey, we're really getting good loot now. Keep uploading stuff. I don't want to lose anything. I want to keep as much resources out of my inventory and in our upload as possible. So I have to farm less later on. The more we have to farm, the absolute worse. We're building though. An industrial forge already is huge. So huge. Notice this base up here though. Has it been raided? Someone's just built this and left this? Surely not. Huh? Oh my god, thank god that's turned off. Um. Alright, never mind, there's nothing in here. Why is everything just not damaged? Before I transferred off server and went out looking for a base spot somewhere else, I decided to camp the obelisk, an old strategy that you guys may not know. It's the ultimate method of lazy loot farming in Ark, and all you really have to do is sit at an obelisk and wait for someone to come by. You can sit and watch a movie, or play your favourite game on your phone, or just chill out like I was basically doing here. And not before long, someone come along just at the right time. Now the key to obelisk camping is simple, just be patient. Don't 
waste or take any time up that you don't need to. Just as I'm about to now, though. What? The fat, Bro, what are the odds? Again, bro, put my shotgun really. Um, no wonder he didn't want to die. Bruh, why so many sets of flag? Ah! No. Be nice. Bad, bad. 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 I got 1,200 points from this man? Oh my god. Did he drop anything from the bat? Bud bags. I'm getting out of here. Which map? Um, I think rag next. I need to add all these to my favorites as well. Just real quickly before someone comes here. Told you every cut the was cap though. Wee goodbye. I think the server's gone down. Just as I spawned in. Oh, this can't be good. Oh, this can't be good. Oh. That's definitely not good. Oh no. Please don't go down server. That won't be very good. Yep. It's definitely dead. And to my sadness, when the server crashed, it rolled back. All of the stuff I had on my inventory was lost, and it was very lucky that I actually put some stuff in the upload, because if I didn't, we'd be starting from scratch at this point, and you guys probably wouldn't be seeing this video. I did return to where my body was, and I couldn't find it. I also did the slash get body command as well, in case any of you point that out, but that didn't give me any loot back, so that was kind of a waste. Yeah, a full inventory of loot gone, and all of that flag. Very sad, I know, but it wasn't going to slow down the progress, as I had other ideas and Crystal Isles was on that list. Well, that's pretty dumb. Server crashes, rolls back, my character's here, but none of my loot is. Literally nothing. No bodies either. Ugh. So dumb, bro. So dumb. Been, like, why did my artifacts stay? So silly, bro. Kind of tech suit there. Ow. Ow. 
To be honest, I don't really want to lose this to random. That's all I have. Rest of my stuff's in the upload, so let's just dip. 140 female stego. 25 HP pre-team. Okay, I think I'm gonna tame it. Do I, even have, do I have cryopods? I don't. Interesting. Okay. Well, I need to get a cryopod. But let's tame this guy anyway. Before I transferred off over to Crystal Isles, though, I discovered a decent leveled stego. And with the good blueprint in upload, I didn't exactly want to pass up on it, so I would knock this bad boy out and start taming it. Meaning that we could get a male and start breeding these and have a decent line to use when I could finally afford the saddle. 3.9, not too shabby. That's actually not a bad stego. I'll take it. Is oxygen got loads in these? No. Okay. Right. We can't use this for underwater soaking, but it should have a lot of health. As soon as I put all the points into it. 23k. 30 something. 35. That's insane. Prefer stego straight away. Hell yeah. What? Black gauntlet in just this? Blueprint? Oh. Insane. Just just insane. Absolute cinema. Going straight to the upload. After looting that little shack and hitting the jackpot with a really, really good flak blueprint, I decided to go check the beaver dam point in the hopes of grabbing a bunch of paste that I would need for all the metal. Lucky, I got like 5.4k, which is definitely not an amount to pass over at. And with that done, it was time to head to charcoal trees as one of the last items I would need to farm on my list, mainly to farm shotgun ammo for bosses and to farm ARB and C4 for defending the base and for raiding as well. So I'm going to let the farming play out and you guys can enjoy it as I never include enough of it. With all my charcoal farming done, I would head over to the map Crystal Isles, as there's a bunch of map exclusive tames over there known as Tropical Wyverns, Ember Wyverns, and my personal favourite Blood Wyverns. Now as a solo player, the best ones to pick are either the Blood Wyverns or the Tropical in my opinion. Tropical are good, because you can outrun basically anything with the water buff and you have the extra HP, whereas Blood Wyverns they give you like... I don't know, man. These things are OP, especially when it's player v player combat and you have basically X-ray on wherever the guys are. Yeah, I know. But sadly, once I got to the Blood Wyvern area, someone had basically cleaned them all out. And I didn't really have many options, apart from one low level. Found one. Finally. And it's such a nice color as well. Bro, I thought they were banned on this server. Generally couldn't find any. Oh. Level 60, but it's a Blood Wyvern. You know what? Blood Wyvern's pretty... Most useful one as a solo player. I just want... Can I Can I get on top of you, please? Please, stop. Despite constantly lagging, loads of setbacks, and a bunch of other things, we were finally on track to get a Wyvern tamed, get some stuff going down, and get a base going. And one other thing I wanted to do is clean out all these left behind wyverns as I wanted space for more ones to spawn in. And then this would happen next. Oh. Oh. In Centenania. Oh my god. I'm probably dead. That parachute. Oh no. I'm so dead. I have nothing to counter the blood. Anything important? I don't remember what I had on me. Damn. 